Hey everyone, I want to talk about the coolest set of accessories I've seen yet for all of you iPhone users. It's the Oloclip lens kit. So there's the active lens, there's the 4-in-1 lens, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the Olokit Studio too. The Olokit Studio has the case and this little holder that I'm holding that lets you really get a nice handle on using your camera. The coolest things, to my mind, are these two uh, lenses. So these will work for just about any iPhone you got out there. And before you jump on me, yes, I'm still a Google Pixel aficionado. My main phone is this Pixel on Project Fi, and I love it. But I always keep an iPhone around too, and I like to dabble, I keep a foot in both worlds so that, you know, whenever anybody that's doing mobile photography has a question, I understand iOS as well as I do Android. Um, I do wish that Oloclip made this for the Pixel, but we're going to talk about it on iPhone. Any iPhone you have, this thing will fit it. They've got, you know, setups and adapters for the Pixel XL or for the, for the iPhone uh, Pluses and the regular iPhones and, you know, just about every single one. So I'm using it with the 6 with the studio kit for the iPhone 6. Um, that lets you slip this active lens right over the case. You can also just put it over the naked phone. Uh, but with the case, it's nice and handy and it lines it up. Either way you go, it lines it up really well where one lens goes right over the front facing camera, one lens goes over the rear facing camera. Before I put these guys on there, I tend to like to wipe them down with a little microfiber cloth, the main lenses of your cameras, because these things float around in our pockets, they get covered in lint, fingerprints, grease, you name it, whatever you've got in your pockets, probably all over your lenses. And you keep these guys clean, they come with these nice caps. Um, and I tested this out on my porch today, this has, uh, you know, sort of, I looked at what a view from a single place through the iPhone standard camera is, and then you can slap on the ultra wide attachment and you get a really, really wide angle image. It's got some distortion in the edges. It's not quite fisheye, but it gets pretty distorted on the edges. And then if you flip it on so that the rear facing camera has the telephoto, you zoom right in and fill the frame with something, you know, a lot more than you would, you know, you would have to pinch and crop a lot of megapixels out because when you pinch on your phone to zoom in, you're actually just reducing how much of the sensor is capture, capturing the image and you lose resolution when you do that. So this just is a really nice set of optics that magnifies the view that your phone's seeing and you get a full resolution image zoomed in like a telephoto. Um, and then I played around with the ultra wide a little bit with some flowers in my yard and then up here in the studio. Because, you know, oftentimes in nature where we don't have these straight architectural lines or in a big wide open space like this, an ultra wide can do really cool stuff. You know, you can get right up close to a subject but still show the whole background, you know, the woods and a little bit of my porch with the flowers or this whole room up here. Uh, and it did a great job. You know, the optics are, are really, really impressive. Uh, I recommend if you're using these guys, keep these nice little caps on there. Make sure you keep them clean. Um, and you've got these clips come in different colors, lets you hang it from a lanyard, connect it to a keychain. It also keeps you from accidentally, when you're transporting it around, bending it so it won't fit your phone perfectly anymore. This just keeps it nice and safe. And it comes in different colors so you can accessorize. In fact, the Active Lens box has a nice little chamois case in here, a lanyard, different colored keepers. There's, there's a whole bunch of cool swag in there. Second thing I wanna talk about is the 4-in-1 lens. The 4-in-1 lens is super cool. It's got a wide angle, so I, I was testing it around up here. You can slap the, uh, the wide angle on here, and you know, like I said, whenever you put one on, the other faces towards you on the front facing camera, so you can flip them around to whichever camera you want. The wide angle is a nice wide angle, kind of opens up the room compared to the normal iPhone uh, image. Then the other side is a fisheye, and it's a true big wide fisheye. You get the whole room, you get that rounded effect of the fisheye. Really fun, creative lens for certain situations. What I am really impressed by with these, though, is that when you thread these little optical pieces off and set them aside, underneath are these macro lenses, these really, really close-up lenses. And I had a ton of fun playing around with this soundboard here in the studio I've got in the corner. Uh, I got as close as I could to the soundboard with just the iPhone focusing, you know, and you can get down to where you're seeing the, the, the names on the switches and you get a nice feel to the switches with some selective focus. But then I slapped this on here with the 10 times uh, macro and you can focus in so much closer just on one switch, you know, really just, just isolate your subject. You shallower depth of field, get right up close, really nice optical quality. 
and then flipping it over to the other, you know, what's underneath the fisheye lens, you get this 15 times macro. It's crazy close. It's just the very tip of the switch. So a lot of fun. For those of you that love doing macro, suddenly your phone is a really capable macro machine. Or if anybody's been kind of interested in getting into macro, this is a really great gateway. Uh, the cell phone already does nice close-up work. With these little guys, it does insanely good close-up work. So definitely a fun toy to play with. That's the 4-in-1 lens. It comes with all the same swag, different little colored keepers. Uh, it'll adapt to fit any iPhone you can get it for. I want to talk really briefly before I'm done about the studio. So this is the iPhone 6 studio. Comes with this little uh, two-finger grip that lets you hold your phone nice and securely and leaves your thumb free to take images. Uh, any of these accessories will just slide right off. And of course the case is designed to just slip these Olo lenses over and it'll, it lines them up perfectly. It comes with some other really cool things. Those of us that, uh, that want to do slower you know, shutter speeds, you need to get your phone on a tripod somehow. Well, it comes with a little clip that just turns into a tripod adapter. It'll, it'll plug into any standard sort of camera stud and boom, all of a sudden you have a nice rock solid connection to your tripod. Comes with one of those for, um, for vertical as well as horizontal. So that one is the horizontal one. Here's one that goes vertical. All I would do is slip that in and slide it on and all of a sudden it would mount vertically in the tripod. Easy peasy. Also comes with two hot shoe adapters. So you could put both these on at the same time if you wanted. And if you're using your phone as kind of a video production studio, you could say drop one on this side, drop one on that side. And all of a sudden you could put, you know, a video light pointed one way, a microphone coming from underneath, still use your finger holder. Um, in that case, comes with this little lanyard. If you've got all that really heavyweight stuff on there, you might want to attach the little lanyard to the bottom, bottom cam of your camera. Um, usually I can't see doing that with my phone, but if you were truly doing some video production, uh, with all these accessories. One other handy little feature it comes with is this uh, little little kickstand. So say you want to read while you're eating breakfast, having your cereal, boom, there it is. Just sits at a nice angle for you. So super handy little kit. All the pieces fit into really not much space in your bag. You've got them. I think that's one of the greatest things about this whole Olo kit in the first place is it's super easy to use and all the pieces you know, don't take much space, they don't take much weight, they're really foolproof, easy to use, and they just expand the versatility of your iPhone a ton. I mean, the camera suddenly can do anything from really close up macro to fisheye to telephoto. So I just wish they had one for the Pixel, but I'll keep using it for my iPhone. It's really great stuff.